before we get into the video i would very much appreciate if y'all would click the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you are new here all right so this is going to be our uh, second um first round split check we're going to see if they have a queen i know they have a virgin queen i just don't know if they have a mated yet so hopefully they will get have a mated queen or hopefully they'll be close to having a mated queen but we're, we'll see what we got uh, today it is april 22nd and call ourselves a swarm today so hey that's a very very good I'm happy with what the swarm looks i'll check them later to see if they got themselves a queen i'm sure pretty sure they do but i'm always good to check looks like they got some nectar in here to bring in privet which kind of figured they would don't want to stir up any bees gonna be looking for the queen slash eggs we do kind of want to see the queen, so then we'll know there isn't any lang workers, which I don't expect any lang workers this early if they were queenless. Just gotta be careful. If she was still a virgin, she'd be moving around. We just want to be careful. Cause, I, Cause last time I checked, the queen was actually on the edge frame here. This split actually has some decent numbers. Whole bunch of drones in here. A lot of nectar. That's really good for our split to have a whole bunch of nectar in here for them to um, eat. Okay, now this is where we'll kind of be able to freely move around a little bit easier. So I'm expecting a mated queen or a queen that's close to getting all the way mated and ready to start laying. I don't expect brood because it's kind of too early for that. See what we got. I see some drone brood, but a drone brood takes longer to hatch, so that's nothing uh, new. Let's kind of look for our queen anywhere that we can see. I don't see her on this frame. Wouldn't really expect any drone eggs or anything. Don't eat anything. I just see some nectar. Good. There might not be a mated queen yet, Might be, but she should be close to getting mated. I'm hoping all of our splits will do okay. Hopefully they will get back a mated queen. Hopefully everything will go well. Uh, things can go wrong. As we all know. Let's check our middle frame. Check. I think I see some eggs. Yep, I see some eggs. We got ourselves a mated queen. So I don't think the camera's going to see it, but I see some nice little white uh, eggs right there in the center of this frame. All over this frame, actually. Let's see here. Yep, those are some eggs. For sure. Really nice looking eggs. We won't really know how good the queen is looking until um, she um, has some brood. But I see our queen on the next frame here, so... Pull this frame out and let's see kind of what she looks like. I can see her on this next frame. Awesome. So I figured I expected a mated queen in this colony by now. And here she is. So two colonies in our first round of splits are queen, um, are mated. Two queen right, uh, some more queen right hives. We are just going to have to monitor these splits to make sure the queens are good. Make sure there isn't any duds or anything. If there are, then we will have to properly... Uh, fix those halves, but I think the, I think she should be a good queen and a good layer for us in the future. At least I thought I saw her. There she is. That's a nice looking queen. She looks mated to me. Nice little calm queen. You see her right there? Awesome. So we got ourselves a nice mated queen. Let's put this uh, colony up. Let's let this colony grow even bigger into this nuke box we won't put them in a 10 frame box yet we will put them in a 10 frame box in about one to two weeks once they start growing and they get some more brood in here so got ourselves a nice mated queen i'm happy haven't had any uh anything that's not good news yet but things can change but hey we got ourselves a never mated queen i actually saw a never mated queen just a little bit ago awesome excited for this season and what things happen this year in the wildwoods in the wildwoods beekeeping area. so it is april the 25th and a couple days ago we went through this colony 
and look for our queen. I actually just went through them again off camera again. Apologize, y'all weren't able to see. But in this colony, I uh, saw our queen. She is a good mated queen, looks like. There wasn't brood, but there was pupa in there, so that is a very, very good sign. This colony is a little bit more smaller. Decent size, just not the biggest or anything. So they really needed a mated queen and some um, brood. So they're gonna get it. They'll get some new some new bees very, very soon. This is a decent, uh, decent hive, and once they get going with some brood, uh, this will be a good colony for me. So we have ourselves a good mated queen. We have eggs, pupa, a larva as of April 25th. So we are continuing on our split checks. It is April the 25th, it's Friday. And let's um, go through this new guy. I actually just went through it just a second ago, but I want to show y'all this uh, queen right here, this colony has a mated queen. Let's see if she's still on the spring. She, she was on the spring a second ago, hopefully she still is. Um, there she is. Look at that. Right when I saw that queen right here, I, can, I knew she, uh, immediately that she was a mated queen. I could tell, uh, uh, you know, right when I saw her. But there's eggs in, the, in these cells here. A good amount of eggs. So it looks like she probably got mated just recently. But this is awesome. We have a good, I see a whole bunch of eggs in this frame. So we're going to let this queen get, get rolling. Lots of bees in here. So this is actually pretty quick. These splits were made re just recently. There it is. There she is, our newly mated queen. We have had some really good luck lately with these queens coming back mated. Like, you know, no problems, come back in. But the only thing we will need to do is come back in about two weeks to make sure that these queens are good queens, that they're not duds or anything. Because we do not want um, bad queens, bad layers or anything like that. So, don't need to really go any deeper. Got ourselves a nice, freshly mated queen. We will come back very, very soon and make sure the brood patterns look good. I'm pretty sure they will. Put these right back into, put this frame right back in place and be careful not to smash any queens. We do not want to smash a newly mated queen. That would be terrible. But hey, another um, split that has a queen. Didn't take them long at all. And this colony right here is gonna be, this colony right here is gonna grow very, very fast awesome hey all grayson here wanted to pop in real quick and ask you if you would please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you are new here and i wanted to mention that i have a new beekeeping newsletter uh email newsletter so if you would uh please go and subscribe to that it would help me a lot if so you won't miss live streams and it gives you early updates thank you let's get back into the video all right so this is another split that's been having a virgin queen for a while and i just checked this frame and look there <laughs> We got ourselves another nice mated queen right there on the bottom frame. There's eggs on this frame. And oh, we have a decent sized queen right here. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go on and put this frame back up. We're going to let these bees do what they do. Let this queen get to laying because this colony can use some brood. Then we'll check back in two weeks, see how they're doing. Uh, maybe a, we'll probably check back in probably about a week, maybe. We'll see. Let them kind of uh, do their thing. So another mated queen. So that's a good sign. I'm so glad that she's mated. So that means we have about, let me do the math here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hives that pretty much have a queen. And the others have virgin queens that are not mated yet. So. Hey, that's good. Let's put this thing open. So this guy right here, I've been monitoring for a while now, trying to see if they're gonna get themselves a mated queen. Last time I checked, I didn't see anything. I didn't see eggs, I didn't see a queen or anything. So what I did was I put a frame of eggs, larva, pupa in this hive to see, so they'll have some brood and to see if they raise a queen cell. If, they have, if there's a queen cell in here, that means they don't, ha they don't have a mated queen. I'm really hoping I don't see any. Oh, I see our queen right there. Look at her, that, that's a nice mated queen right here. Mm -hmm. So never mind what I was about to say. There's a nice 
nicely made clean on the top of these frames. So wonderful. That's a good thing there. Really wasn't really expecting to see a queen, but it seems like this queen, this colony right here is queen right. So I just saw a nice, ma nicely made queen. So I put that frame, well, what I was going to say was I put a frame of brood, a frame of egg larva in there to see so I'll know if they're queen or not, because I didn't see anything yesterday. But she must have been on her main flight. So, mm -hmm. so I don't know if there's any need to really open up this half. Um, let's put this uh, apple bar right here since, since I know our queen isn't there. So it is May 7th and I'm coming back out here to the BR to do some more uh, split checks. I actually have the video right now already kind of put together um, with a couple checks. I didn't check all of them. I bad said I'd come out here and check a couple more. I already know if all if these colonies have made queens or not. But I just want to show y'all a couple more and see if they have some queens. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but I already know if they have a queen or not. I just want to include a couple more checks uh, in this video. So let's go on and get into it. All right, so this is going to be the next check that we're, we're going to do real quick. I got to move all this stuff out of the way. It's, it can be, it's kind of messy out here. This is a pretty nice size colony. I'm pretty happy with the way they're looking. Actually rained last night. So hopefully these bees won't be too, too um, mad at me today. All right, first frame's coming up. We got a good amount of nectar and drones on this frame. So, kind of, kind of what you would expect. It's gonna have a little bit of nectar. These bees are bringing in some nectar. A lot of nurse bees in here. So, but a lot of these nurse bees that hatched are probably turning into some worker bees by now. So. They might be a little feisty since it actually rained last night. It usually bees a little bit more feisty when it rains, after it rains. Yeah, this colony has a mated queen because there are eggs and larvae in this frame. I already know, like, all of these colonies. I pretty much know if they have a mated queen or not because I already did checks. But I figured it'd be nice to just come in here and check again and see kind of what we got. I don't know if it's hard to kind of see on the camera. But in there, there are some, there you go, I can kind of see it. You see that? There are some nice larvae and eggs on this frame. Love, you love to see that. We also got some nice fresh eggs on this side. And look at there, we got our queen. Look at there. Man, these queens are coming back in nicely made. And I'm really happy with what, what these, what these uh, bees have been doing. All right. That's a good sign to see. We have eggs all over this frame. We know our queens in here. And these bees are really nice and gentle. Wow. Of course, they're, it consists of younger bees. So that's probably why. But, we'll let, but, you know, it's all right. These bees are much more... These, a lot of my bees are pretty gentle. They can get spicy sometimes. That's kind of how it is down here. Even Italian bees can be a little spicy. We want to be careful. I see my queen, and we don't want to roll her. But I know I'm pretty, I'm pretty much not going to because I'm going to just put this frame over. And that's and that's that. I know my queen's on this side. I'll just put my Abavar strip right here in the middle. All right, so this colony right here has made a queen as well. So this was the original colony. If y'all remember, remember on the first round of splits, you guys got. If you haven't watched that video, you guys got to go back and watch it. I went in here. These bees are pretty, pretty, um, somewhat defensive. That's why I'm not going in here because this is a well established colony. They're big. They have a lot of, of honey in the super right here. So we might even ex extract some honey this year. So this colony right here is a really good colony, a really built up colony that I built up coming out of winter. Man, they, they built up really quickly coming out of winter and. They got themselves a mated queen because I checked like a couple days ago and there's eggs. I saw our queen. Looks good. And the reason why I'm not just going to go in there and check is because I don't want to dis disturb them. I don't like to go into this colony too much because they're big and they can be somewhat defensive at times. I, I know I said that 
most of my bees are gentle, and they are at times. But there's times where, just down here in Alabama, they're just a little bit more defensive and aggressive. Uh, you just gotta deal with it. And another thing is I don't use smoke, so that's probably a big reason. But anyway, this colony right here has a mated queen. And their queen, and they, it looks like there's a pretty good queen in there, a nice size queen. All of them have been really good sized queens and a decent egg pattern. I, I didn't see any brood because it was a really new queen. Seems like she just got mated, so can't really say if the brood pattern's good. That's why we're just gonna have to at least let these queens do their thing and see kind of what uh, their patterns look like. I right, just wanted to check those couple um, that one have right there because i didn't check them in the video um but all of the splits have mated queens ain't that something y'all really didn't expect having a you know full take you know i really didn't expect that pretty uh really good look there we got a little uh lizard right there we have multiple lizards out here they like to hang out out here uh, but all of them have mated queens so that means uh seven out of seven which is a very good take. This one has a queen, that one has a queen, that one, that one, that one, and those two over there. Now something, you know, I've been kind of watching this swarm though. Let's see what they're doing. So they're in there, they're doing the thing. They've been kind of building up a little bit, but I put a frame of brood in there. Um, that queen took a while to get made and I'm really not sure y'all, I'm really not, 100% positive because that queen isn't really big like these other queens are and some queens I've seen queens that just don't get really big when they go out and mate, you know and same with this one But there's eggs in there So I really do gotta watch this colony and make sure that queen is not just a, a, a Drone laying queen. Maybe she just Not nah, that, that wouldn't be the case because how would she be able to fly? I just gotta I just gotta watch that colony make sure there's no problems with the queen it Shouldn't be but, we'll see. But, thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all watch till the end. And if you are, please go on and click that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, the BR is doing awesome right now. I think things are going awesome. And things uh, will continue to go that way as long as we, you know, do what we need to do. Keep these colonies strong and healthy. And then the last thing for us to do with these um, splits is to let them build up. Very soon, a lot of these nukes will be going into 10 frame boxes. So we'll keep y'all updated there too. Thank y'all for watching. Have a blessed day, everyone.